guys it is saturday and we have deep cleaned the entire house it feels so good and now we decided to go out for a sort of brunch we've got like this whole weekend is just wedmin <laughs> got so much wedding stuff to like finalize and finish off i've got some like crafty bits that i want to do today so yeah it'll be a nice day we're just getting like all the stuff out the way before we bunker down at home and sort our lives out hi oh <laughs> back from our brunch and we're now on the sofa doing some wedding planning i'm a, a, just a little bit peed off that maurice has got that whole side of the sofa to himself and i'm squashed up in the corner because of him look how close he is to me <laughs> look all that room you're taking up so we have made enchiladas for dinner i freaking love mexican food it's definitely one of my favorite cuisines that noise was just now <laughs> blinds being shut so yeah, we've made enchiladas with mincemeat and also like a tomato salsa um, with spring onions, tomatoes and coriander. And these are enchiladas. Also got a glass of wine because it's Saturday, why not? It is Sunday morning. I'm making my second cup of tea of the day. And we've got a prep for breakfast on the way, which is so exciting. I was really fancying a prep. A acai bowl is that how you say it and then G told me he'd ordered fret and I got upset because he wouldn't have known that I'd have wanted that but turns out he somehow did know that I wanted that today it's kind of a busy one we're going to a little dance class because you know us we're into our own um, dancing and then we are going to Westfield to pick up our wedding rings which is so exciting I sent them off to be engraved and also to get my engagement ring resized that was a couple of vlogs back now so yeah I felt so naked without my ring on so I can't wait to get it back and for it to fit we're also gonna pick up a little M&S meal for dinner I think which I'm also looking forward to but it's Easter next weekend and I haven't got an Easter egg yet so I think I'm gonna try and find one of those as well when we go to the shops later also got myself some new earrings which I need to show you so I've only ever had this once before but for some reason I was really craving it this morning I love the prep birch mueslis but because it has got your gut in it does give me um spots on I'm trying to lay off that I've got like the biggest spot on my chin at the moment which I've been using like loads of spot patches just to try and get out yeah this is just got it's got like some like cherry puree it's got banana it's got granola it's got peanut butter or like almond butter and some pomegranate and apple it's just very nice like this so i wanted to show you my new earrings because i got them i placed an order last week and they arrived a couple of days ago um but i found this uh jewelry brand called estella bar Martel, Bartel, I'll leave a link down below. I'm gonna be buying my bridesmaids a nice set of earrings for the wedding. Yeah, so I bought some of them, some from this company and some of them from another company that I really like. They arrived, but I also added a pair in for myself. That was a really complicated way of saying that. Um, but I chose these ones and I really like it because it looks like I've got a double piercing. So it's basically one hole but two hoops and the, it, yeah so i think it's like joined at the back like that but you can't see that you can only see the front where it looks like it's kind of got a double piercing and one of them's like plain gold plated and one of them's like sparkly with a bit of di diamantes in so i yeah i really like those oh maurice has come to say hi hi and then also because i've had like yeah some really weird spots recently got this a huge like cystic under the skin spot here don't know if you can see that and i know that kind of spot it, if you feel it it feels like a pee under my under my skin um and i know that it won't come to a head and it will just be there and it's it was really upsetting me because obviously our wedding is soon and i don't want like i think it's quite obvious that i've got something there so for the past like three days i've been sticking on a zit sticker every night and it's definitely like not coming to a head but it's definitely like going down a bit so i bought these on amazon this was so expensive a pack of 20 of the spot patches um it was like 45 pounds which is the most i've ever like spent on a spot patch before um but these ones are really good for certain kinds of spots i'm gonna try it one of these tonight on this big one here um because yeah it 
it still seems very full. Yeah, I'll leave a link down to them. You get eight in a normal size box. I've been through about three of those boxes in the past, so I definitely rate them, like they definitely help. But I thought I'd, yeah, treat myself to a bigger patch before the wedding to like really try and banish quickly any like last minute spots that I've got going on before the wedding. We are now in Waitrose, picked up my engagement ring. It fits a bit better now, and our wedding rings, which is so exciting. Um, I've lost G. <laughs> I freaking love these Waitrose meals. Um, one of my faves is this one, the pork ribs with Memphis style rub, it is so good. But today we've gone for this one, which is chicken legs in a rich red wine sauce. We're gonna get a little veg platter as well. What is he going for? What are you thinking? I was seeing all the other shit they've got. Oh my god, oh my god, chunky chips. Are we getting chips? Yeah. <laughs> Show you what we got from Waitrose. Little haul. Waitrose is so expensive but also just so good, isn't it? It's just a right treat. We've got chunky chips. The chicken legs. That looks great. Also forgot our bag, which is really bad. So we've got a bag for life. Um veggie crisps, love them. Garden greens, French beans, and sugar snap peas. I've had these before. Are they nice? Uh, I think they're interesting. They taste like they do taste like peas. Soups. We've got a French onion and a chunky veg soup for lunches this week. This blueberries. Got a veg veggie dish tonight. We've got peas and pancetta and leek. Then also some random bits. Washing up liquid. Lint bunny. For Easter and we're gonna do an Easter egg hunt this year and um, so we've got some little lint eggs to hide around the house with Maurice <laughs> <laughs> oh my god these veggie crisps are so good <laughs> need a hand can I do it Oh my god, that is so stupid. We haven't even got no scissors. Do they not want us to eat? <laughs> oh my god. Babe. Babe. Well, it looks just like. I don't think Jess is going to like these. I knew you wouldn't like them. Can I have one? You're going to finish them though. They taste a bit like, um, like matcha. Matcha coffees. Mmm. I don't know. I don't know. They're Moorish. This dinner looks so beige. We've got our sides over there. We're going to watch um, the new Cruella film with Emma Stone. I'm excited about this. I am absolutely ravenous today. I'm very excited because I've got soup for lunch. Cheeky little chunky veg soup. Also just spotted I've got some hummus in there so I'm gonna have some crisps as well. Oh, I've got ravioli as well, I've got so much. I have just been filming today. I filmed, ah, uh, I filmed a video on how I use my Dyson Airwrap because I always get questions on Instagram about how I use it. So I need to edit that. I'll probably edit that tomorrow. Um, apart from that, I haven't got much gossip. I'm just in a very weird mood at the moment, and I think I think it's because of the wedding. I don't want to talk too much about it because it's boring for those of you who don't give a shit about weddings. But I think I want to write some content today about how stressed I am. Like, not even that. The um, the pure amount of pressure I feel for the wedding day. Um, to look perfect oh my god it is ruining me i just feel like i need to be perfect in every single way from my weight my body my nails my skin my hair and the pressure of it all 
I can't even express. I just feel so shit about myself. I guess because I'm just picking out all the bits that aren't perfect. It's one day. Why am I working myself up so much about something that people don't even give a shit about? Um, like it's not about me looking great. It's about our wedding day and us getting married and that like yeah the next chapter of our lives together but I'd love to know if any of you guys have also felt this way before because it is really shitty um and it's making like I'm such an aggy bitch at the moment I feel so sorry for G I'm not like not being a bridezilla or anything I'm just so aggy and like um frustrated and like my my fuse is very short yeah it's not been a very nice feeling over the past couple of weeks i'm just looking for a lipstick i need to like snap out of this mood try and focus on feeling a bit better about myself and stuff <laughs> i just wanted to show you this company that i found online whilst i was on the hunt for my wedding shoes I came across a company called Rainbow Club and I wanted to share it in case any of you are getting married or if you're just looking for like a, a custom pair of shoes. This company do gorgeous like satin heels and um, I've chosen a pair out, here they are. But you can like customise them to any colour that you want so you could wear them like this on your wedding day and then you could send them back and get them like matched to any shade so i asked for some swatches like red and like champagne and pink colors and these are the swatches they've sent yeah and they, they've got like thousands of colors so you can kind of see exactly what kind of shade you want so yeah they just like paint the color i love that idea because you can really like customize a pair of shoes so i chose out the mimi's and um, because they've got a really pretty bow on which i will get out now so i think there's two ways you can wear these either like this foot where you can wrap the bow around and have it at the back as well or you could just have the bow at the back i haven't tied these very well i think the bows need a bit of a steam but i really like these they feel super comfortable the heel isn't too high so i feel like i could definitely like walk in them and spend a night in them but yeah i love these it'd be really hard to try to decide what um color silk to get finished work for the day and um filmed a little reel like a last minute unexpected reel now we've got dinner we've cooked some sort of like potato and haddock pie with some spring greens which are definitely gonna bloat <laughs> bloat me up 